A very good evening and thanks for clicking on to the slightly later edition of the Global Weather and Climate Report. Hope everybody is well, safe, keeping warm. There has been some disruptive snow across parts of Cumbria and other parts of the UK in the last 24 hours or so. And we are going to slowly but surely come out of this cold spell that we are currently in in the next few days here. But uh, before we get into that, you can uh, follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, daily weather updates. Um, I'm sitting on 5,475 subscribers here on the channel. Now, if you haven't already done so and you enjoy weather, you enjoy a different look at weather with regards to explanation and etc, uh, etc, et then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Things are getting very interesting indeed. And uh, I'm pretty excited about the upcoming pattern with the Arctic Oscillation, North Atlantic Oscillation developments within the stratosphere. And, uh, you know, we look at things that uh, most channels don't look at. Manjulian Oscillation, for example, is the likely contributor to why we're seeing the big change coming up this week in the weather pattern here. So uh, more on that in the coming days to come. But uh, also the all-important winter 2023-24 forecast is now available on markvoganweather.com. The link is in the description below. And also the December forecast is also released. So be sure to check that out. Again, the link will be in the description below for that as well. But the uh, Arctic Oscillation is going um back towards neutral once again through the course of the next week to 10 days as you can see here on the gfs ensemble here the north atlantic oscillation is equally going back towards neutral as you can see and uh, to me the rain the main reason for that is the uh, is the manjulian oscillation rotating through uh, three four into five these are traditionally warm phases of the MJO and that is causing uh, a, you know, a, a ripple effect in the Northern Hemispheric pattern. But very, very cold start to the month of December. It was a cold end to November. It is a cold start to November, uh, December should I say. And the temperature did drop to minus 12.5 at Altnahara this morning. Here at Marfogan Weather Headquarters, we did see a temperature of minus nine this morning. Without any snow in the ground, that is a pretty decent temperature for, you know, for a lack of snow cover in the ground. Typically, when you get snow in the ground, that uh, enhances radiational cooling during the overnight period. So without any snow in the ground, you get close to minus 10. And actually, you're only about a mile or so away from the Cromarty Firth, which is uh, relatively warm waters, uh, especially at this time of the year. Uh, that is quite an achievement, actually, I think, in my opinion. It's the coldest temperature that I've recorded, but the weather station is only, um, you know, 11 months old. In fact, it went live back on January 8th uh, at the beginning of this year, so it's still a very young station. Um, but uh, I'm quite intrigued to see how cold it gets later down the road here. So looking at Europe, as you can see, very, very warm, exceptionally warm conditions. Midnight temperatures close to 20 Celsius, by the way. Parts of Ukraine, uh, Moldova, down into Romania, uh, and especially down around uh, Croatia, Bosnia, Herzegovina. Um, this region of uh, southeastern Europe has been almost, almost summer-like warmth. 25 Celsius in Serbia. Uh, for the beginning of December, all time record for that nation. While we've seen temperatures uh, stuck in well below freezing by day and very, very cold by night, uh, parts of Germany, Poland, up into Scandinavia, daytime temperatures no better than the minus 20s. Uh, across the majority of the UK during yesterday, we've seen temperatures below, uh, below freezing. So you can see here the maximum temperatures yesterday across the board. A very very chilly day indeed and like i say especially without any snow cover a little bit milder as you can see across the far south but that was thanks to a system moving in later uh, in the day yesterday so uh, we we'll have seen accumulating snow across the southwest of england we've seen an ice day in oakie hampton in the southwest but the temperatures yesterday here no better than minus 3.6 at aviemore 
Temperature started off yesterday at minus 11, high of minus 3.6, and the temperature as of recording is down around minus 7 Celsius this evening. But we are slowly seeing milder air moving in. You can see that here looking at the south, the far south of the UK here. We've got temperatures as high as 9 and 10 Celsius, but uh, minus 8.2 at the uh, Tullock Bridge as of recording here. So uh, quite the contrast in temperatures up and down the UK, as you can see here. So let's have a look and see what globally uh, we are, um, how we're sitting to start the month of December off. And wow, look at the amount of warmth, especially across North America, the top of North America and extending over Greenland. And that is simply down to a very powerful blocking area of high pressure that is essentially delivering the cold to the UK, Ireland, and much of Europe here. Europe really stands out globally when it comes to below average. The core, the core of coldest air anywhere in the planet, really, with the exceptions of the likes of um, you know, parts of Russia, for example, we've seen temperatures into the minus 50s. In the, the last couple of days, that is the coldest so far. But compared to average, uh, Europe really stands out with regards to uh, colder than average. Eastern portions of China, uh, the Koreas, Japan, seeing below average temperatures to start the month. We're seeing some blows across parts of Australia, as you can see here. Central Africa, southeastern Africa, what would that be? Tanzania, um, Zimbabwe, this region. Uh, well below average conditions, Madagascar below average, and uh, we've got some central and southwestern portions of the United States below average, eastern Washington, parts of British Columbia, but we've seen some exceptional mild conditions. Even Greenland, it was raining at Nuuk on the west coast of Greenland in the last couple of days here. Uh, looking back at the month of November here, and there was a lot of warmth. The same area is funny enough that is warm compared to average now up across the top of North America, Greenland, uh, much of Russia's uh, above average. But we did see a colder than average month, uh, Mongolia, so, the southern portions of Siberia, as you can see, northern China, seen a below average. That southwest corner stands out all the time. Um, Central Africa uh and the south coast of australia here parts of queensland even had below average argentina has been a uh, continuously below average but look at brazil where we've had record flooding conditions as well as record breaking heat also so let's have an, a quick tour as to what's been going on around the planet in the last week or so here and uh, you can see epic snowfalls in parts of cumbria these are little streamers by the way that have been uh, running across the Irish Sea from Ireland across the Irish Sea. That cold air then um, gets picked up, uh, that moisture from the, the, the sea, uh, convective uh, showers that develop and then the move into Cumbria. We had upwards of a foot of snow in uh, this region here of Coniston in Cumbria. So beautiful winter scenes in this part of the British Isles in the last day or so here. Munich, Germany, we had an all-time record December snowstorm, 44 centimetres of snow. I know this weekend's Bayern Munich game was uh, wiped out due to the uh, immense snowfall that fell in the German city here. We did see some remarkable uh, flip-arounds, by the way. So a week or so ago, Serbia, Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, 50 or 60 centimetres of snow on the ground here over 100 centimeters in northern portions of the alps now we've got record breaking heat to contend with so a massive swing thanks to a storm that moved over the black sea generating massive waves hurricane force winds blizzard conditions and now all of a sudden we've got uh, almost a return of summer conditions but when you've got very cold air in one side of the continent you tend to have record warmth on the other side of the continent also this is an interesting tweet here representing 60 percent of the continent now we actually do have more snow cover now parts of the uk uh, parts of france the low countries we have got snow in the ground as well so there's probably actually more than 60 percent now coverage and i believe this surprised me slightly i believe this is the first time that we've had upwards of 60 percent of the continent of europe under snow cover 
since uh, 2010, uh, which, I, yeah, I was quite surprised at that. I thought we would have seen it at some point, at least. Uh, this was the scene in Stockholm on the 1st of December, a tweet here by Moira um, from Stockholm in Sweden here, showing big snow depths in, uh, in this area of the continent as well. So pretty beautiful stuff indeed. And... Uh, yeah, south of Inverness, we've got about a foot of snow, I would say, uh, around the Slog Summit, generally down towards Carbridge, Aviemore. Hence why we've seen the ice days, temperatures well below freezing by daytime, into the minus 10s during the overnight hours. No surprise, really, the depth of cold. And I'm convinced that we would have had a nice day today if we had snow-covered ground. But you can see here some of these snow depths here. This is a tweet by the BBC. Uh, Prague, 20 centimetres. Munich. 42 centimetres, Zurich, um, 18 centimetres, Salzburg, 23, Vienna, 18, and Krakow, where I was back in the first week of May, a beautiful city actually, seeing as much as 30 centimetre, centimetres of snow, I'm well jealous actually, because I would love to see Krakow in the snow, look at some of these depths, incredible stuff, 200, uh, 2000 metres above sea level right enough, but some of these scenes here, just remarkable here this is from um from michael based in the in the netherlands look at that there that's pretty much everybody's dream that loves winter weather wow i would certainly love to see that i must say been to austria long long time ago may i add and uh, it was the summertime and even in the summertime it was beautiful but it must be stunning at this moment in time so uh yeah uh this is a stunning scene here this is a tweet and a photograph captured by uh, kiro cairo uh, sorry if i'm pronouncing your name wrong based in estonia beautiful uh, mm -hmm. sunrise or sunset with the deep snow covered ground and like i said my weather station recorded minus 9.0 this morning for the first time in its short history surpassing the minus 7.7 .7 that was recorded back in march that was after the southern stratospheric warming of course look at this here by the way big old volcano erupting in west sumatra in indonesia here some pretty stunning scene is that going to have any impact richard trot you know shrine Bruin, let me know in the comment section below what you think about that that is a big old pyrocumulus cloud that's for sure Minus 53.4 was achieved in Russia. That is the first minus 50 out with, I believe, possibly in the Northern Hemisphere, certainly out with Greenland. Um, so quite interesting stuff. Our, uh, our good friend David Birch, based in Walsall, uh, showing this tweet here about the major snow cover now uh, encompassing the Northern Hemisphere. And that's really going to build the cold as we go forward here. So a uh, significant amount of snow Thanks to David for sharing that the uh, interesting comparison tweet there. Um, so yeah, lots of things going on at the moment, that's for sure. And we are continuing to watch the stratosphere situation. Now there is 10 HPA temperatures. The core, even though there's warming over the Siberian side of the poles, pushing the core of the vortex towards the North Atlantic and Europe. But we are seeing the core temperature dropping uh, close to minus 90. If you notice here at the very bottom of the corner, but bottom left-hand corner, you can see the temperature here. But look at the strong pulse of warming. There's one wave of strong warming that takes place, pushing the, the vortex off the axis. Then we've got a secondary wave, as you can see here. But look at, at that core temperature, minus 84 to minus 89 Celsius here. And... What I think is going to happen is we're going to see at 500 millibars that strong block over Siberia extending into the northwest of North America. That in turn, I think, could drive a very active jet stream. We've got one system after another now starting to gang up. Powerful jet stream raving up, revving up to 120, 130 miles per hour. It's going to send areas of low pressure across the Atlantic and towards the UK in the coming days. And uh, I think that is the, the pattern that we're going to endure. But looking at the uh, CFSV2 here, this is the upcoming five-day period. If we'll rapidly play through this, you can see that we do warm things up, but then we do start to cool things down in the run-up to Christmas week. Watch this space. 
be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next couple of days with more bye for now